What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys, today... We're going to go over some MT methods. We're going to go over some investments and all that good stuff. As you can see on the screen, bro. Bro, MT. Like, straight up, I have I got outbidded. Uh, all right. Well, dude, I've been trying to get KD all day. Someone just outbidded me for 514K. Don't ask how, bro. Right now, man, we're trying to get KD. I have 467K. And uh, yeah, man, it's been pretty tough. But yo, guys, thank you so much for 5K. Like straight up, you guys are actually goaded. Like literally, I don't even know. We literally gained like 100 something subs today. So yeah, thank you guys for that. Please hit that sub button. Make sure to drop that like for some giveaways. 120 likes in the video would be greatly appreciated. And yeah, man, let's keep this going. We should be at 10K in no time at this rate. But yo, right now... Market looks like it is somewhat rising. As you can see, bro, it's getting staler and staler. Besides the Galaxy Ovals, they keep dropping. But everything else seems to keep going up. Like, Kobe's up like 20k, the Diamond Kobe. There's a lot to talk about. And I'm going to go over some investments and some, I guess you could say, snipe filters you should use. And also, if you guys do not follow my Twitter, make sure to go follow my Twitter down below. And if you need MT, make sure to hit my sponsor. Twitter, bro, um, make sure to hit up my Twitter, man. Like, straight up. It's a pretty... I literally, I be tweeting all day. So make sure to go follow that. I'm sorry if I sound tired. I am. My wisdom teeth are actually hurting. I just got them pulled. So my bad if I do sound a little weird. Like I'm literally, it's like so, it's in so much pain right now. So my bad. But anyways, um, a lot of people were talking about, is it worth investing in Reggie Jackson? And honestly, I really feel like it is. Because honestly, the Chauncey Billups investments went well. The Steven Nash was the only kind of lag. But yeah, Reggie Jackson... For around 1,500 MT, I think is an investment, okay? Um, his stats are pretty good. 97.90. Like, he's a really good budget car. I think a lot of kids are going to use him for the really low price. Personally, I do like Reggie Jackson myself. If I was a budget baller, I would definitely use this card. He's actually pretty good. I got four of them right now. Got all of them for 1,500. I say his price goes to around 3,500. Um, I could definitely see that happening. So, if he's 3,500... That's a W. Um, if you do get him for fifteen hundred and you pick up a hundred for for fifteen hundred, you sell him for thirty five hundred. You make seventeen fifty. You'll make a hundred seventy k off a hundred of them. If you buy a hundred of them, you'll spend a hundred fifty k. So if I spend a hundred fifty thousand on my MT, or even two hundred thousand, and I sell them for three thousand plus, I make a hundred over a hundred thousand MT. So if you think about it, it is a pretty good investment. Will he go up to three k though? That is the question. I would think he will. And also, bro, for all you guys that invested in Charles C. Bills, was a really good move. Pretty much, bro, all the investments come in packs. Like, this Jeff Green might be a pretty good investment. Like, not going to lie. I haven't even looked at him. But I'm going to tell you right now if he is. Honestly, bro, at this point, Ruby cards are pretty much pointless. So, he's 94.88. Stats are pretty solid. Let's see what he's going for. If you get him for 800 and he goes to 1500 that's pretty solid. Like straight up, if you get them for 800 something for 1500, there's really no reduction. Make about 600 a pop. You can make like 60k if you get 100 of them. It's not bad. So you spend 80k and you make 60k off these Jeff Greens if he does raise to 1500. That's not another, that's not a bad investment either for you guys that really don't have that much MT. But yo, right now, I honestly been sitting on the Amethyst filter and it's been really good. It's been really, really good. All oh, right, there, that's mine. Yep, I just got a 1500 Reggie Jackson. So there we go, bro. We just got one. If you guys want, I would sit on Amethyst Filter. This method has been really money as of late. Oh, another one. Oh, I want that. Oh my god, we missed it. See, like, as you can see, bro, I just missed another Reggie. Like, I literally will sit on this filter all day and I will cop a million 1500 Reggie Jacksons because you will not see him for under 1500 in about a week or so. Because honestly, I think 2K is slowing down with the content until possibly mid-March, and then March Madness is really big. So right now, sniping on this filter is pretty good, as well as the Diamond Filter, setting your um, buyout to around 9, no, 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 not 9,000, like 4,000 MT. But right now, it's 
pretty good um dude my mouth is literally killing me like i am so sorry like straight up i don't know why it's, it hasn't been hurting all day but now of course when i make a video it's burning i don't know what i did but yo let's see 4900 4800 if i don't if i look swollen too that's all me bro my bad 5k yo all you guys that invested in the donovan mitchells too he actually went up so much he was around 2900 He's rocking around 5k, 6k. So whoever invested in those took a W. Whoever invested in Chauncey Billups took a W. You can honestly sell your Chauncey Billups if you want. And yo, all I've been noticing is that all the high price cards have been dropping besides Tracy McGrady. Bird actually went up, but all the opals and really, really rare pink diamonds have went down so much. So LeBron went down a ton. MJ went down a ton. Tracy went up. Przingis went down a ton. Westbrook is actually went up a little bit. Vince Carter went down a ton, a ton, ton. Larry Bird's finally starting to go up. So what I've realized, bro, pink diamonds usually go down. Like these rare ones, like Wade's pretty rare, Bird's pretty rare. Pretty much the prime players always go down during a market crash, and then they do rise. So like I said, during a market crash, it is the best time to get your team. But I'm not talking about players that are like 300K. I'm talking about players that are like 150K, like Larry Bird and Wade. I noticed that the people in the 100K ranges usually drop a lot like they usually drop to around 100k and then they end up rising again to like 140 150 130 even 160 even 170 sometimes like for instance bro wade was at 110 he selling for around 160 zinger was at 120 selling for 160 larry burr was selling for 110 he's selling for 160 170 180 there's a lot of interesting things and yo galaxy Oval mj galaxy Oval vince carter and lebron all really really rare cards keep dropping why Bro, I don't know why. Like, straight up, same with the KD. You're probably going to see Galaxy Oval KD around 300K sometime. It's just that so many people buy MT. And honestly, it kind of makes the game better. Like, if there was only packs, those cards would be 600,000, 700,000 MT. And since there is MT, and a ton of people do buy the MT, there's so many people uh, with better teams and whatnot. So, like, that's what I'm going to say. It sounds kind of crazy, but that's I just wanted to state that real quick. Some other investments I would recommend doing, bro. Not even investments. I would honestly just sit on the Alt LaMarcus Aldridge filter. He's actually so good. He actually has better stats than my Kristaps Porzingis, but I love Kristaps, so I would never get rid of him. He plays so good for me. But, bro, if you're a budget baller for 20K, you get LaMarcus Aldridge, bro. But I would honestly stick on this filter. Not only that, I think his price may rise. Honestly, no. I think his price is going to go down to around 18 17 maybe a little less. Depending if the market crashes. When the market crashes, I would stock up on a ton of LaMarcus Aldridge's. And also, on my Twitter, I got blown up. This filter, all day. Pink Diamond Moments Power Forward. If you have at least 100K, this filter has been absolutely insane. Like, it's Pink Diamond Moments Power Forward. This filter, if you guys don't know what it is, it has Kawhi on it. It has Giannis, Zion, and Aaron Gordon. Now... This filter, everyone has been showing me snipes that they got 40k Aaron Gordons, 40k Kawhis, 100k Giannis's. If you got anything on this filter, please let me know. This is one of the best filters in the game low key. And I really, really do recommend it. Personally, I try to snipe and nothing pops up for me. Then I get off the filter and I get a tweet notification that people actually snipe stuff. And it's like, I literally sit here for hours and, and so long... And I get nothing. That's why, I dude, I try to discover investments. If something, if a card drops and you know pricing, like based off diamonds, like let's say they drop a new diamond, there's like a pink diamond in the set, two pink diamonds in the set, two am uh, two amethysts in the set, one diamond and uh, four galaxy opals or whatever. The diamond's always mad cheap, but you want to wait a couple hours until he hits his lowest value, and that's when you want to invest. You really don't want to invest right away. That's just a method to you guys. I really, I also, bro, when they drop locker codes of a diamond player, never ever buy it within the first hour because they keep dropping and dropping. You got to wait possibly till late, late, late that night or really early in the day. For instance, the Donovan Mitchells, bro, I bought a ton for 7K and he dropped a 3K. So that's one, that's one example. But yeah, other than that, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. Pretty much just a ton of empty methods and market tips in this. So hope you guys really did enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Peace.